lady is a songwriter, artist. She started writing from the age of seven. Her name is Samantha Ochero. Ladies and gentlemen, Samantha. Good evening, everyone. My name is Samantha Ochero. I'm a recording artist and I'm going to perform two songs before I speak. Yeah. Um, the first is called Changes and the second one is called Confiscate My Heart. Yeah. So much. 
on faith and individuality and I think the first thing I would like to speak about is indivi individuality and I'm glad the speaker before me um, got a question about Enugu and <laughs> things like that so um, as a little girl I always felt like being everyone else was better than being myself. I wanted to be everyone else but myself and I could easily find good things about everyone else apart from myself. And if I was asked about all the things I hated about myself, it was very easy to just mention a list. So one day my father asked me what one thing I liked, and I told him it was music. I, I started writing songs at seven to vent when I was angry or frustrated or sad, and I didn't know the magnitude of what that was at that time. Um, so he, he pushed me to do that one thing that I knew I loved and doing music helped me find myself and helped me learn to appreciate who I was. Um, um, now I'm doing music professionally and in order to be able to sell, you have to consider yourself as a brand, not just a musician. Not just a person doing a song. You have to look at yourself as a brand. And even without music, we, we all are brands. Um, so I had to consider what kind of music I wanted to do and my personality and how I was going to present myself to the world. Because those are all things people see when a musician is performing. What is their music? 
how is their personality brought out and how do they present themselves. I think those, those are the three things that separate the top musicians from the rest. They are, they have individuality, they have character and personality, they know who they are. And so I had to learn what those were for me, how I was going to be different from the rest. And my music was different. And I was, I've been told by very many people, if, if you're in Uganda, your kind of music is not going to sell. You should try singing other things, maybe dance hall, because Ugandans love to dance. And I'm not good at writing dance hall music. I haven't tried it. So I decided I'm going to do I'm going to write songs the way I love to write songs. I'm going to write what is me. Um, music pushed me to find out who I was, what I liked, and what I want to be as an individual. It made me realize I actually like my hair the way it grows out of my head. I don't want to um, wear anything else on it. It made me realize how much I love the African culture, that I prefer to wear African clothes, even though the music I sing sounds white. <laughs> yeah, so I realize as I keep doing my music, I. I am becoming an individual, yeah. And how individuality helps us is, even as companies, it sets you apart from the rest of the companies. Individuality means you are, you are, um, what you bring to the world is different from everyone else's because you are you, you are not everyone else. and. It, it makes you different, it makes you a rarity, it makes you something of value because you are the only person in the world that is you and that can bring what you can bring to the table. So that's why I believe it's something very important. And how can we achieve individuality? The first thing is taking time to learn about ourselves and the second is honesty. Be honest with yourself. If everyone likes dance hall, do you like it? And do you like it honestly? If <laughs> if everyone, you know, likes... I, I'm not sure what those movies are called with the Luganda subtitles. <laughs> I, I always wanted to watch them because people would be laughing nonstop and I wanted to know what was so funny, but... <laughs> I never ever got it, so I've, maybe when I learn I'll like them, but yeah, I've learned to be honest with myself and know that I love other things and it's okay to be who I am, it's okay to be your own brand and your own brand sets you apart and makes you of value, yeah. Um, the other thing I was... I am speaking about is faith and I've had several points in my life when I had to learn about faith. Um, in secondary school uh, I was going through a lot of things so my performance in class deteriorated a lot and in my form 5 that was in 2012 I was almost going to have to repeat a class and that decision was dependent on the one paper I was left to receive. So the marks on it would determine if I was going to repeat or not. And I knew that that paper was really bad for me. So I was so depressed and I couldn't hold all those things in anymore, I decided to talk to a friend. So I went and told her how 
I really don't want to repeat. I'm smarter than this. I've been doing well. This year has been hard. But no one else is going to understand that and say, okay, that's fine. Go to Form 6 because you are having a hard year. So she told me, I, she told me to have faith. And I found that annoying at first because how was faith going to make me move on to the next class when I knew that paper was horrible? And then she asked me, what other option do you have? And that's when I realized there was really no other option but faith. And there's so many times in our lives when we really don't have any other option but faith. Um, and as I grow older, I realize that life is a series of risks. Everything is risks. Business is full of risks. And how do you go through risks by having faith that it will turn out right. There's a quote I read that said, um, it was someone asking, what if I fall? And they were answered by, uh, the person who answered said, but oh my darling, what if you fly? So. Yeah, faith, we, we all need to have faith even through these risks. I think the most successful businesses are those of people who have faith that their risks will turn out right. Um, so um, I believe that we should do the best that we can, work as hard as we can, and faith is there so that we know that even as we work hard, God is there making those things that we can't perfect along the way. For example, if you, if you work at an events company and you do everything else, there are things you can't take care of, like if it's going to rain or not. So I think that's where faith comes in to believe that God is going to take care of those things that you can't humanly take care of. And I actually didn't repeat that class. I had faith and I got through to the next class somehow. The teachers sat at a meeting and decided that they were going to get the average of the whole year instead of that one, sem that one term. And my average was above the pass mark and that's how I passed on to the next and they had never done that for any of the other years so I believe faith has power there's power in faith yeah oh, and we often complain about how we aren't able to be positive but I think if we if our lack of positivity is linked to our lack of faith. The more faith you have, the more positive you are because you believe in better. Yeah, that's all I had. Thank you.